Hello guys! A few days ago I was watching Daniel Schiffer latest video where he demonstrates some of the techniques he uses in his videos. Daniel he is a super creative guy and he inspired me a lot. I'm personally using these techniques in almost all my videos and as you know Daniel he is a Final Cut Pro user and I'm an After Effects user so I decided to recreate Daniel's video for After Effects users. I'm not trying to make a better video than Daniel, I just want to show my workflow for After Effects users. In this video I will use only my phone and a small LED light and basically that's it. So let's do it. So I turn on the LED light and set the color of the light to the daylight. Then I position the product to the middle of the frame and take a picture. Then I open the bag with the sweets and place them on the table. I played with the position of the sweets until I was happy and then took a picture. In the next step I captured the sweets in full rotation using my drill machine. I didn't use any green screen, I just captured it on a white background. You can use a wall or so. Later I will remove the background in After Effects with Rotor Brush tool. Then I made a project folder and put everything there. Then I went to pexel.com to find a background for the video. On pexel.com you can download pictures and video for free. I searched for a garden and found the video I like for my background. Then I download it and bring it to the project folder. The next step is removing the background from all the images I took. So I open all the images in Photoshop and remove the background using the Select Subject tool. Then I make some adjustment on the selection with the Quick Selection tool. When I'm happy with the selection, I copy and paste it into a new layer and then delete the original layer. Then I use the pen tool to cut off the parts I don't want. Then I made some color correction using the camera raw filter. Save it as a PNG file to my project folder. Then I did the same process with the sweets on the table. To make the picture more clear, I removed all the small parts using the spot removal tool and save it as a PNG file. Then I open a new document in Photoshop. In this document I'm going to make my composition. I took a screenshot from the video I will use as a background and import it to the document too. Now with all the images I need I can make a nice composition. So I play with the position, duplicate the sweets and edit some shadow until I was happy. Then I open the PSD file in After Effects as a composition with all the layers. Now I can import the background footage and the footage with the full rotation of the suite. Now I can place the video background to the composition and delete the reference background. In the next step I blurred out the background to get a nice depth. The next step was animating the bag with the suites. I animate the position and the rotation of the bag. I also animate the position of the shadow. To make the animation cooler, I added a bones expression to the position. So I searched for a bones expression. I found a nice and simple expression on Cinecon.net. I copied the expression code and pasted it to the position of the image. To do this, just simply hold the ALT button and then press the stopwatch icon on the position of your clip and then paste the expression code. Then I changed the value until I was happy. The next step was removing the background from the clip where the suite is rotating. First I trim the clip for just one rotation. Then select the suite with Roto Brush tool and let After Effects do its job. I was really happy with the result. Then I smooth out the edges until I'm happy. Then I render it out with no background. Import the rendered clip to After Effects and place it to the scene. Then copy the layer 4 times so I will get a nice full rotation of the suite 4 times. Then I pre-compose the 4 layers, speed it up because I wanted it to rotate faster. Then I animate the position and the rotation and duplicate the layer more times and place the layers into the position until I was happy with the composition and with the timing. Then 
then I enabled motion blue for all the layers so it will look more realistic. In the next step, I wanted the strawberry to fly out from the product packaging. So I went back to Photoshop, used the pen tool and cut out the strawberry. Then I save it as a PNG file and import it to After Effects. Place it into the composition and position it to the exact place where the strawberry is on the back. Then I imported some splash animation, removed the green screen and place it under the strawberry. Then I animate the scale and the position of the strawberry to pop up from the back and change the colors of the splash to match it with the colors of the product. Then I edit an extra splash effect to the background, but later I will decide to not use it. Anyway, at this point I didn't know I won't use it. Then I bring in my logo and animate the end of the video changing the position of the layers. This video is not paid, that's why I use my logo instead of the logo of the product. At this point I could say that video is done. But I wanna make it even more cooler, so I'm going to make all objects 3D, so I can add some nice camera movement and depth to the scene. This is a bit more advanced technique, so for you guys who are not familiar with the 3D in After Effects, just stop here and render your video. So next, I made all the layers 3D and play with the position of the layers in 3D space. When I was happy with the composition, I created a camera and animated the rotation so we will get a nice parallax movement in our final video. Then I again play with the position of the suites in 3D space so they are in the exact position where I want them to be when the camera is rotating. Also I added zoom to the camera movement to be more focused on the product. Then I render it out, bring it to Premiere Pro, where I can add some music and sound design. Also I speed up and slow down the clip to match it with the music. I could slow down the clip, because the original clip in the After Effects has 60 frames per second, so I can slow it down to 50% without losing some frames. Then I decided to make some changes, so I went back to After Effects and removed the splash effects in the background and also added some movement to the suites on the table. After I rendered it out and replaced the footage in Premiere Pro. Then in Premiere Pro I rendered out the final composition with the sound design and this is the final result. Okay, so this is it for today. Don't forget to press the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to share this with your friends because it really keeps help this channel alive. Thank you and see you in the next one.